The Penguin is finally here. I am so freaking excited because I am a major fan of the Batman, of course, Robert Pattinson, and now we have the Penguin series on HBO Max, and I just saw the very first episode. Hey, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector. If it's your first time viewing, I hope you enjoy the content here. I really think you're going to enjoy all the fun things that we do in terms of collecting and talking about pop culture and everything else. But this freaking show, man, I... I cannot think of a show that I have been anticipating more. Um, I love The Boys. A lot of you guys know that. I, I was kind of a late bloomer in terms of watching The Boys. It's one of my favorite shows right now, period. I absolutely love it. But this Penguin show, obviously, is an extension of the Batman world. Um, I really loved the Gotham series TV show for a long time. I thought that was a lot of fun because it brings those characters to life, right? And so The Batman came out a couple of years ago and I loved it. Not everybody likes Robert Pattinson as Batman, but I think he's fantastic. I loved, you know, I thought the Dark Knight was a realistic take on the Dark Knight uh, himself, Batman himself. Holy crap, this movie, this, this setting is so dark, it's so gritty, it is so impressive, okay? And then when I found out that they were going to do a miniseries basically based on the Penguin, and it starts exactly where they left off in the movie. And that's going to then bring us into the Batman 2, which is going to take place in the winter time. But I just wanted to capture my, my initial reaction, okay? I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps, guys. This show is so fantastic. Colin Farrell, where the hell is he in this show? You do not see Colin Farrell ever. Like, it is amazing to me. I, I, I asked my wife, I said, can you believe that's him? Can you believe that's Colin Farrell? Because he's not there. Like you see his eyes. There was one time where Oz uh, smiles and I can kind of feel like it was a little bit like him. But he is so incredible in this. His acting is phenomenal. You completely forget it's him. Even more so than the movie. I thought this was so good. And I was anticipating the show being kind of a cross between The Sopranos maybe and a little bit of a Breaking Bad. And that's exactly what this is. This is a hybrid of those shows. It's so dark. It is so, so good. And I was really expecting Oz to be the star of the show. And he is, but there are a couple of other characters that they introduce in this show that will blow your mind if you haven't seen it. And again, this is going to be pretty much a spoiler free. So if you haven't seen it yet, don't worry about it. Um, again, there is darkness, there is violence, there is making of drugs in this. So again, it has that kind of that Breaking Bad feel. The mob part of Gotham, which is my favorite stories. I absolutely love Gotham. I love the mob in Gotham. I love that dark and grittiness. I'm just, again, I have goosebumps when I think about it. But there's also some tender moments. There's some heart in this show. There is some humor in this show. Some, you know, Penguin at the end is drinking a Slurpee <laughs> with his new cohort. It is so well done. I loved every second of it. But my favorite character, and I kind of anticipated that this might become my favorite character, but Sophia freaking Falcone in this. I am a longtime fan of The Dark Knight, obviously, but specifically The Long Halloween. Tim Sale, absolutely love everything that he did with that book. And of course, Jeff Loeb, who I've had a chance to go to dinner with, of all people. He is a phenomenal writer. And they brought these characters to life. And again, it really focused on, you know, on that mob side of things. And so you have the Falcones, you have the Maronis. And this show has both of those characters. And they, they, again, this is just bringing the long Halloween even further to life for me. And the, the, you know, you have Alberto Falcone in this. You have Sophia. And Sophia was a big part of the long Halloween. And you get a sense of her from the first couple of scenes. But by the end of the show, her eyes. I dare you to look in her eyes. Like, her acting through her eyes in this. She is smart, funny, and terrifying all in the same breath. I freaking love her. 
And the first thing I ever saw her in was How I Met Your Mother. She was the, the mom that was revealed at the very end of the series. And I haven't really seen much of her since. And so I don't know as much about her. This show makes me want to know more about her. She is fantastic. And again, we are only one episode in, and they are going to be releasing a couple of episodes at a time, I think. I think um, on Sundays now, the first episode was on a Thursday. Um, that was just to kind of introduce the show. And I think there's eight episodes total. I cannot freaking wait till the next show. I am so freaking excited. I am so pumped. And I love what they're doing. And I love that they're setting up the next film as well. They're showing Oz, uh, and they're, they're Oz Cobb is what they're calling him, Oswald. They are showing his rise to power, again, in that mob, drug dealer type mentality, which, again, I love. Those are my favorite stories in Gotham. I love those, those particular stories, the dark grittiness and the noir. The supernatural elements of Gotham are fun, too. Clayface and, you know, C Killer Croc, those are fun, too. But in this particular world, it's bringing the exact world that I like. And, and Gotham did that initially, too, where they brought some of that mob mentality, some of those stories to life. I freaking love it. I freaking love it. So, again, that's my reaction. I just wanted to just get my thoughts and feelings out tonight. Um, and so, you know, you'll be, you'll be seeing this in the morning. But I had to share it with you guys. Let me know what you guys think. If you saw it, please let me know what you think. What are your initial feelings? Please do not spoil it for anybody, though, for, ha for anybody that hasn't seen it. And again, I just had to share my thoughts and feelings because, again, I'm the Batman guy, right? <laughs> so anyway, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching. I hope you all um, are having a great week. Um, lots of collecting things coming uh, to the channel very soon. Uh, we got some things that are already shipped, things that are coming in. We've got new art coming in as well. Um, and so it's a great time to be a collector. And I just want to take a second to thank you again from the bottom of my heart for continuing to be a viewer of this channel, for continuing to support this channel for so freaking long. We are getting ready to celebrate our anniversary here on, on YouTube. I, from the bottom of my heart, guys, it means the world to me. So thank you. Thank you. Um, I, just, I can't do this without you guys. So it, I just I hope you know how much this all means to me. Your support means to me. Um, your continued viewership the likes and the subscribes and the, the, the joins and all that stuff. Um, thank you guys it means the world. Anyway, thanks for watching. I can't wait to see the next episode and I'll see you guys soon in the back cave. Let me know your thoughts down below. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. Bye. See you in the back cave. That's what I'm supposed to say, right? <laughs> Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.